All right, so I have a little weekend update for you. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't make this on Friday. I haven't really been feeling that well since I got back from Asia. Um, jet lag sucks, but now I'm feeling better. Um, so big, big day on Friday. Uh, lots of crazy plays like NYMX. I will get to them in a second. Uh, but first, I just have a few announcements, just some stuff to go over because I'm getting too many questions. Uh, Trader Checklist. If you go to TraderChecklist.com, you enter your name, you enter your email, you get 30 minutes free right now. And next week is the week we will be sending out all 11 hours for free. No strings, no BS. I just want you guys to have this new uh, framework that I'll be using in every single trade alert. Uh, in every single video lesson, no longer will we be just grading stocks based on like buy, sell, short. Every single stock at every single time of the day will have a specific numeric grade out of 100. So it is very important that you enter your name and email here. It's even more important that you watch all 11 hours when I release it next week. Um, it's It's huge, okay? Uh, also, I got to congratulate just seven students. Uh, AAQ, this, these tweets all came to me uh, late Friday. AAQ uh, pasted together a few different screenshots, and he's up $7,000 since joining my trading challenge two months ago. And the beautiful thing is that this is just the start, okay? $7,000 is nice, but it's not life-changing. Uh, it helps you understand the value of what I teach. It helps you, you know, recognize that you can make a lot of money in a day. His biggest gain was, uh, you can see it kind of here on TOPS, uh, which was a, a nice earning spike runner. Uh, the week before ISNS was the exact same pattern and he made 3,800 on that. Um, Elizabeth, I love seeing this. Female students, she made 2,500 this week. Um, and that's a good little reminder. You know, making 2,500 in a week is a damn good start. So congrats uh, to Elizabeth. Uh, Jake, I love this, 10,000 in the last three months. Uh, Brandon, 1,500 in the last two days. I also gotta give props to my first two millionaire students, Michael Good and Tim Gratani, who also now mentor other Trading Challenge students. I'm so grateful uh, for their hard work. They do not have to do it. Uh, they can make plenty of money on their own just trading, but they like giving back and helping others, so I'm eternally grateful. And I hope you guys uh, appreciate their hard work too. Uh, Sniper Trades, nice job on EGLE. I'll go over that stock in a second. Uh, Lloyd, awesome job on EGLE. In 20 minutes, made 6,000. Who needs you know two months to make 6,000? This is 20 minutes. And Lloyd bet big and banked big. Uh, and EGLE was the biggest mover on Friday. Uh, and then Omar actually is using stocks to trade, and he spotted EGLE in the eights. Uh, before I went to uh, the tens, which is pretty sweet. That's why I'm a big fan of stocks to trade software, and it's only going to get better. Uh, we have broker integration coming soon. Uh, we have paper trading coming soon, and we have a new thing called Oracle uh, coming soon, which I think is very good. So go follow stocks to trade on Twitter or Instagram, um, and go to stocks to trade.com if you want to learn more. Um, if you want to go to stockstotrade.com slash lessons, a lot of people are asking me for this. Um, you know, we have eight uh, tutorials, basically, uh, right here where you can see different features of Stocks to Trade. These are free for anybody, so just go to stockstotrade.com slash lessons if you want to see these tutorials, and I highly encourage you to watch them. All right, now let's get to these stocks. Uh, NYMX was the biggest loser. Uh, you know, dropping nearly $2 a share off its highs. I could not find shares to short. This was a potential short for me in the watch list. Uh, once it cracked Thursday's low here uh, in the mid fours, you know, it wasn't an easy play. You know, the, the big tank didn't really happen until late day. So while I couldn't find shares to short, I wasn't like, oh, this is terrible. I, it's such a gimme. It was not a gimme. Um, it just was a potential short. And I look for breakdowns like this. Um, so it cracked. I mean, this is this is technical analysis 101. It cracked 460 right here, went all the way down to 437, and then what did it come up to? 457. So you can either short the initial breakdown, or you know what I better like is, is shorting the bounce when it fails to reclaim that uh, level. And you know, even if I had shorted it here at like 450, I probably would have covered. I don't know. 
here in the 430s or, or here in the 440s. Um, I don't think I would have waited, you know, all the way until the close. But this is a potential first down day, and this is what happens on potential first down days. Uh, the play that I did short was XCOM, which was scary because, you know, frankly, as my watch list said, it's scary to short these kinds of stocks, especially under a dollar a share. But this was the first down day for XCOM. Um, and they're pretty much a, a bankrupt company. You know, this is just a, a short squeeze. Momentum traders bring it up. Um, if you look at the fundamentals, they're absolutely terrible. And what dropped this at the market open on Friday uh, was the fact that an insider sold uh, over 2 million shares. And this is a small company. So this is 2 million shares is a big percentage of the company. Um, but it still rebounded. It still had momentum. And I actually got squeezed. I had to take some small losses. But now I am reshort on XCOM. Um, and I think that, you know, it's going to come back down. Uh, I don't know how far, but, you know, it was at in the 30s a few days ago. I would love to see it, uh, you know, in the 60s or, or even the 50s uh, next week. But we'll see how much patience I have. You know, very small position, very speculative. Uh, I'm much more excited about my over the weekend long on EGLE. Um, Oh, I also have to congratulate some students. Sorry, you guys messaged me in so many different locations. I, I went over the tweets. These were some people in the chat room. I just copied some of what they said. Um, even though I couldn't find shares to short of NYMX, I'm so proud of students uh, who nailed it. Ducks uh, shorted at five. I don't know where he covered, but you know this is a possible $5,000 profit. Kazimi was short from 470. Uh, Kilgore nailed EGLE for nearly two bucks a share. Uh, Evil Trader made nearly a dollar a share. Uh, Live Long, he was the one who made six thousand. Uh, Quan Fan uh, traded EGLE. Just keep your money, but that's okay. You know, it's it's cool. We all start somewhere. Um, oh, let me actually talk about EGLE first before I get to more. You can see how my my brain is still scattered. This jet lag is is not good. Um, but here is EGLE, and, and it basically had this huge volume spike, uh, huge intraday spike. You know, even if I had sent out an alert, I mean, it was so quick. This is the kind of trade uh, that you'll see me in September and, and next week doing uh, live trading videos on. I, I haven't really had the Wi-Fi um, the past few days, and, and my mind has been kind of screwed up. Um, but this is exactly the kind of uh, trades that I, I will not be doing alerts on because they're simply too quick. You know, from we're here at 9:45 in the morning at seven dollars and fifty cents, and here it's at ten dollars and fifty cents. You know, 15 minutes later, so too quick for an alert. Which, you know, frankly, I think that this is going to be really exciting, uh, where I'm just going to show live trades, um, and I kind of am looking forward to it because it's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, for me to to make the trade and then type out my commentary and then you know I'm I keep switching screen screens I only use one laptop um, because I'm I'm literally trading from all over the world so for me it's going to be a lot easier I'm just going to record my screen but it does require uh, good Wi-Fi to to trade live and and record live um, but this is a morning spike and and this is a fantastic morning spike of you know it goes all the way to nearly 12 bucks a share so nearly five dollars a share spike um this is at 10 15 in the morning this is at 9 45 so all in 30 minutes we're talking nearly five dollars a share um and that's why i bought uh on the dip here uh in the mid eights it's not a coincidence that the bottom here was also some resistance right here this is another example of technical analysis 101 uh right here at uh, 9.49 a.m. Eastern, um, it had a high of 8.45, and it kind of, you know, didn't really break out for, what is this, is that 9.49, so six minutes later, we had the big breakout, and that's when it really spiked, but it's important to note that it did face some resistance here in the 840s, and that's exactly where it based. It actually didn't even get to the 840s. It based in 850, and then it was basing here at 865-ish. Before I even bought, um, it also uh, had some big buyers. Uh, so I only got a partial position. I, I got in at like 880. It was already spiking um, because this was kind of a double bottom. And more importantly for this play, I mean, now it's up to the 910s, so I'm up like 30 cents a share, 40 cents a share into the close. 
but I'm not interested in just making 30, 40 cents a share. Um, the question is, can it have a repeat of this uh, next week? I don't know the answer. Um, I do not think this is necessarily a good company. I'm just playing the pattern. Um, I would guesstimate that it's not going to spike another $5 a share, um, but it could spike another dollar or two. And that's my goal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and my reasoning is because it's done it before. Uh, the last spike it had right here, even though it, it finished lower the second day, it made actually a new higher high. So the high here was 11. The next day it got all the way up to 1180. So in this case, it actually broke out to new highs. I would be very surprised if this broke out to new highs to the 12s or 13s, but it is possible given this one. More likely, um, it's going to be a, well, I guess this is another example. <laughs> let me, let me talk on again. Um, you know, this was a, a big green day. This was a nice breakout here. And then this, the second day, uh, you know, it goes from basically 14 and the next day it goes all the way up to 20 and then it goes up to 21. So this was actually three days in a row of spiking once it, it started getting volume, although it just had two days of big volume. So whether you bought it on day one here, you had a chance to sell into new higher highs uh, on day two or even on day two where this is a red candle, meaning that it, it made these highs all the way up to 20, but it finished in the 14s. And then the next day, it still gets back to 22. So you have one example here and a second example and a third example here of multiple days running. So, and this is all in the past 100 days. If you go back 200 days, it also has gone supernova in the past. Um, you had one big green day here. Um, and then the, the second day was the, the big spike. So this was the biggest volume, but this has a history of spiking for multiple days. That's my whole point in dip buying this. Um, I missed the morning spike. Um, again, you know, I'm, I'm not on top of my game when, when I'm all jet lagged. It's not an excuse. It's just the reality. You have to be aware of outside influences that influence your trading. And when your, your mind isn't there, your health isn't there, you're not going to be a great trader. You know, I actually had small losses on Friday. That's fine. I don't care. I moved on, I played it safe, but more importantly, I'm set up for a potential follow-up spike on EGLE on Monday. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I could easily be wrong. Um, you know, uh, if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll cut losses. If it breaks through, you know, 850 here, I'll lose 30 cents a share. But if I lose 30 cents a share or 20 cents a share, um, ideally I can cut losses, uh, you know, I think that shorts should be scared because this could spike another dollar or two. And if it followed the patterns of the past, um, you know, it could make a new higher high, which again, I, I think that would be very surprising to me uh, to see this go to the 12s or the 13s, but it is possible. Um, so that's why I'm dip buying plays like this because it has a history of spiking. It has huge volume. And there's just not much risk when I'm buying it, you know, three, four dollars a share uh, off its highs on the day. Chasing a morning spike, you know, chasing it even here, even if you bought it in the nines, you know, or the tens, and it goes up to twelve, you're rewarded. But there's a lot of risk because it's already moved two, three dollars a share. Now I'm dip buying it, and it's, you know, kind of put up a fight. Even here, the bottom was like eight eighty, and the bottom here is like eight fifty, then the bottom here is like eight sixty. So it's kind of getting choppy here in the high eights. And I like seeing that. And now, you know, after hours is uptrending a little bit, um, you know, not, not much volume, uh, but it's trading between like 905, 920. And if it can break this high of 960, um, you know, shorts get scared. And I think that's when it can go back to 10, 1050, 11. And I would say that would be my maximum expectation. I, I really want to, be strenuous saying, I do not think this is going to make a higher high, um, but it could. So uh, that would be the outside scenario. I doubt even if it does make a higher high that I'll have the patience to hold. I would love to make a dollar a share, uh, maybe a dollar fifty. But if I have to make 50 cents, we'll see. All you can do is try and set yourself up for potential profits. And you go in with a thesis and you can be wrong. Um, so I easily could be wrong. I'm not saying this is the best stock in the world. I just want to bring it to your attention and, and explain my mindset. That's what, you know, this DVD, the Trader Checklist DVD, is all about explaining your mindset 
Um, and actually, let me see, do I have Excel open? I do. Last time, let me explain this right now. E-G-L-E. Let me do a little grading for you right now. This is how I'm going to grade stocks in the future, so you can start getting used to it. I'm glad I never even closed this file since the last time I did a grading. Um, pattern and price, you know, ah, this is a little high price for me. Um, the pattern, it has had a, a good uh, spike on Friday, so that's pretty good. I'll give it a, a 14. If it was a lower price stock, I would give it a higher risk reward, you know, where I think I can make a dollar or two a share. Um, and my risk is, you know, 20, 30 cents. That's, that's very good. I'd give it an 18. Ease of entry and exit, it does move fast. So it's, you know, uh, I don't even know if I can cut losses of 20 or 30 cents a share. Um, so I'll give this a, a 5 out of 10. Past performance history is spiking. As I explained, it has done it many times before. Uh, at what time is it and what's my personal schedule? Um, well, I'm aiming for a morning spike, which has been the single hottest pattern, and my personal schedule is free uh, on Monday, so I'll give this a 20. Uh, reason catalyst, not so much. <laughs> okay, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a hot stock, so I'm going to give this a 2 out of 10. Um, market environment is ripe for uh, morning spikes, though, with volume. So it's a 79 out of 100. So it's not a perfect play, you know, on the scale of 1 to 100. Um, I want to take trades in the, the 70 to 100 range. So it is in my range. But, you know, the reason catalyst isn't there and the ease of entry and exit isn't exact. Uh, but the rest of the stuff is, is pretty solid. So I like my odds. Um, and what you'll learn from my Trader Checklist DVD, you know, I'll, I explain much more about this. This was just a quick calculation, but this 11-hour DVD goes into exactly how I come up with, with different grades and explains all of this stuff. So I think this will help you big time. You know, it's not an exact science. Um, it could very well fail. Um, it could very well be, you know, turn out to, to be like 100 out of 100. And, and you know, maybe I'm I'm... Uh, underestimating the reason of the catalyst. Maybe some news is coming out. Uh, maybe, you know, I'll easily be able to get out. I don't know. Uh, this is not an exact science. Trading is not an exact science. Creating millionaire students from scratch is not an exact science. My success has not been an exact science. All you can try and do is prepare, prepare, prepare. So this is my play for Monday. Um, I'm perfectly willing to take a small loss if I have to, um, but I think the trade is a pretty good setup. And I also got to give props to some other students real quick. Uh, trade Not Love uh, says he's been trading 23 years, probably longer than most here are even that age. And I can tell you that I've learned more in the last four to five months than I have ever learned in the past 23 years of undisciplined trading. Um, and he's watching all my videos and webinars. And, and this is awesome. <laughs> this is so awesome. Um, and he's like, you know, thanks to your, your fiance who endures all of this. Yeah. And you give props to my fiance, uh, you know, because I work some crazy hours for you guys, but I love it. Uh, Lucas also says, Tim, you taught me a lot this month, nearly doubled my account. I may not take all the picks you post, but I look for the price action and pattern off your video lessons. You should not take any of the picks I post. Okay. I don't want you following anybody's alerts, whether it's me or anybody else. This is all about being self-sufficient. And that is what my millionaire students have learned. Uh, Wilnery says, thanks for all the motivational. Started with only 1,000 using my phone only. Grew my account to 5,000. And now purchased a nice laptop. Thanks again. Super excited to see you guys at Orlando. Uh, that's where my conference is. I'm excited to see you. Thank you. And congrats on going 1,000 to 5,000 on, on your phone. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Mad Pure, this is sweet. Uh, EGLE in at 685 overnight long out at 1049. Uh, thanks for everything you taught me. Another thousand dollar day. And then Wyatt Earp, I love this uh, message. I was eyeing EGLE buy at 855, but thought it was a little too risky. Looking back at the chart, I see exactly why you bought it when you did back on the uptrend. Just glad I was on the right track and learning from you. All the mods and all the great people in this room. So much love for you and the mods and Tim. You're changing my life. I'll never be able to repay you. Well, maybe one day have a great weekend and go Panthers football. Well, thank you you know, for this comment. And you, I'm not asking you to repay me. I'm asking you to become my next millionaire student. That's what you can do. All of you guys watching this, you can study, uh, you can prepare, 
and you can be successful. That is what I want. Um, so hopefully you understand that. <laughs> you know, I know there's a lot of chat rooms and newsletters out there where they just want you in there and they want you following picks. I don't want you following my picks. I want you learning from my picks. Whether EGLE and XCOM work out next week, we'll see. I could go either way. My $10,000 or $12,000 account is already at $80,000 for the year. So if I go to like $81,000 or $82,000 or if I go to $79,000, it's not going to make or break me. It's just another trade to learn from. So I'll see you guys in the chat room and I hope you have a, a good weekend.